So as we all know by now, unless you've been living under a rock, Miley Cyrus gave a really awkward performance at the VMAs the other night. Now, I've seen multiple articles that try to defend her in a weird way. They're like, yeah, well, you're saying it was a bad performance. You're sexist. No, I'm not sexist. It was just a bad performance. She looked like an idiot. Now, am I saying she shouldn't be allowed to prance around on stage in almost no clothes and, you know, do pelvic thrusts and all that nonsense and twerk on Robin Thicke? No, go right ahead, I got no problems with that. But what I am saying is that you look like an idiot. So free country cuts both ways. You can dance like that and act like that, and I can call it out for what it is. You look stupid. Now, uh, understand, is there anybody who doesn't get what's going on here psychologically with her? I mean, she is that age where she's going through the rebellious phase. Like, oh yeah, well I was a wholesome family star on the Disney Channel and I was known for being like Christian conservative. Well now I'm not, now I'm wild and I'm crazy and I'm twerking and I'm, I like, like, like sex, drugs. Ooh, I'm so wild. You see me, you see me wild? Am I wild, am I wild? Yes, Miley, I see you, you're fucking wild, nobody cares, it's really not that hot, it's not interesting, it's not, whatever, I've seen it a trillion times. Britney Spears, yada yada, you guys know all of those different stories, right? Well, The Onion, God, this is such an amazing story. In 2008, 2008, basically predicted this whole thing. It's like they had a crystal fucking ball. Listen to a segment they did, and then we'll discuss. This week, the New York Times will run the first in a six-part series examining America's overuse of Hannah Montana star Miley Cyrus. Most experts now agree that at current usage levels, Miley Cyrus will be drained dry of entertainment value by 2013. Joining us now is Miley researcher Dr. Justin Canty from the Institute for Sustainable Cyrus Use. Doctor, you say this is the worst entertainment crisis humanity has ever faced? Absolutely. Miley is a potent entertainment resource, but we are overusing her at unprecedented levels. Uh, she's on television, mm -hmm. albums, toys, clothing. Okay. She has a sold-out live concert series. If we don't act now, the down-to-earth Miley, who likes text messaging with her friends and playing guitar in her bedroom, will be wiped off the earth forever. You point to the examples of Lindsay Lohan, uh, Britney Spears, the Olsen twins. Well, they were uh, bountiful entertainment resources that our overconsumption reduced to smoldering remnants. But we are burning through Miley at a far more aggressive rate. Then what is the timeline here? Typically, a teenage star can have profits drilled from her for approximately six years before dropping down to is she too wild levels. Miley was discovered only three years ago, and already there's pregnancy rumors, the photo scandal. However, though, Disney says it has plans to pump songs and shows out of Miley for at least another three to five years before discarding what's left of her. She won't last that long. Within two years, she'll be little more than a withered, desiccated husk incapable of causing anyone any amusement at all. So what are the consequences if we don't cut back on our Miley use? As Miley entertainment becomes more and more scarce, the millions of families across the world that have grown dependent on it will begin to fight for it or, or hoard it. Society as we know it will fail to function, governments will collapse, humanity will be reduced to roving tribes of barbarians uh, constantly searching and fighting and scouring the landscape for the last remaining Hannah Montana fashion doll or the best of both worlds CD. How impressive is that? Like, okay, I mean, I like to think I'm pretty good at making predictions. I know other people who are good at making predictions. But that was damn near spot on, man. But you know what it is? And maybe this kind of contradicts myself because it's, I guess it's not all that impressive. All they did was take the mold of the Britney Spears of the world, of the Lindsay Lohans of the world, and of other, uh, pop star females and very popular females, and males, by the way, they do it all the time, too. And uh, they said, well, this is the normal progression. They start out as a child star, then this happens, then that happens, and next thing you know, you're twerking on stage with big teddy bears on Robin Thicke's cock. 